What's up guys? I am back in Florida. We had a great time up in Illinois and we passed through Tennessee and hit Wisconsin Dells and hit the city. It was a real fun trip but back to business here, back to work and back to building quads. Um, I wanted to show you guys my VX145. A lot of you know this um, unfortunately as the XJB145 by HGLRC but this is the frame that they use for it, which is uh, made by or sold by Full Speed RC. Uh, if you see here the VX right there, and all oh, the antennas in there, but the Yin Yang logo, that's the Full Speed RC logo. Look at the uh, iterations of the XJB HLRC uh, ready to fly or buy and fly they sell. It looks just like that, but I think they've, uh, instead of... Uh, like owning up to the fact that Full Speed RC and Rohan's designed this frame, they just cloned it identically before, and then now they're getting rid of this. So the top plate looks different. Even the bottom plate actually has that, but it's covered with the, the pad right now. Anyway, guys, uh, this is the real deal right here. This is my VX145, and um, it's going to go straight into the fully built review because there's there's really not a whole lot to note with the frame. It does come with it, an HD um, mount that's removable here that I'm not going to use for now. But um, the frame itself has uh, three millimeter arms and all the other plates are basically one and a half millimeters. It comes with nice standoffs, um, steel, steel hardware all around. Those silver stack screws are from me that I used to use with the stack and design wise it is just enough room for everything you need to put in there um takes a little little bit of experience to get everything in there you know working properly because it's it's more like a race style frame so it doesn't have all kinds of uh fore and aft space on on the front or back but uh, no nonsense race looking frame looks like it's going to be a lot of fun um other notables on here the frame cut is fine, but you might want to chamfer the edges a little bit just to, to so you don't rip your battery uh, straps over time. I mean, it'll last, but I kept on blaming my battery straps, but it was usually like you see right here on this edge is not chamfered. If you keep cranking a battery strap on that kind of edge, it's just going to snap after a while. So anyway, I chamfered the bottom frame plate edges. It is unibody, so it's not removable arms one piece and let's go over the build components real quick um, I do post this on Instagram guys so you can just kind of get a quick peek of what I'm working on uh, my Instagram is in for bliss same as my YouTube channel here so let's start with the motors is the brother hobby um, Avenger 1507 Bye, neighbor 1507 3600 kvs with uh, gem fan flash 3052s on top uh, for the camera we have a fox here aero micro pro and the stack here is the full speed rc 28 amp stack and um had zero issues putting it in it, it went together nicely and i like that it doesn't pin together it, it uses a connector to go between the two so it's not like reliant on pins that could snap the vtx on top is an amway vtx it goes up to 200 milliwatts it has um, has osd control so works on the irc tramp protocol so i can change channels in my goggles pretty cool and that's connected to the xe ufl antenna i kind of had it's kind of long so i have it routed this way and up and then underneath there you can really see it there's an RXSR, a FR Sky RXSR hiding under there, and I just have the antennas up on either side. Um, any other parts in here that I am missing? I think that's everything, guys. So, pretty cut and dry, simple. Didn't really need a separate frame review for this. Um, everything went together, together really well. Um, and until I get an HD cam, nice little small one, I, I'll probably opt to put that um, HD camera mount on here at a later date but let's get some quick weight measurements here all right here we go zeroed out let's see what she weighs with the battery strap fully built 138 now that's with the props and everything on there all the wiring 
And then with the Tattoo 650 3S, 192. So well under 200 grams all up guys, pretty cool. So let me get the GoPro mounted on and let's do some LOS. And uh, maybe I'll fly around the yard here and get the Maiden going too. I only hovered it in the living room so far, so we'll see how it goes with LOS real quick. All right guys, let's do the line of sight. See what happens. Mm, you turn me on. System on, ready to fly. All right, looking pretty good. Slight breeze out here. Try not to hit my phone over there. Feels very fast, like quick already. I can feel it at throttle. <laughs> it's ready to go. All right, let me make sure I'm back up, backed up enough here. Hope you guys can see that. Let me just test everything. Feeling good. Y'all's okay. All right, let's do a punch out. In three, two, one. Not bad. Now, you guys, that's a 3S on there. These motors could probably go for a 4S, but try one more time. Three, two, one. Very tame with a three, 3S on there. Try not to hit my cat. I, I do these punch tests to see how how easy it is to catch. Okay, it's taken quite a bit of throttle to catch it. Do a couple of flips here. Try not to eat that tree. All right, feeling pretty good. I think I might have to run four S six fifties on here. Rolls pretty good. Feeling good, guys. Let's see how she flies FPV. All righty, see if I can land it. without destroying my phone. Oops. Oh, it ne never fails. If I'm not recording, I'll land it. If I'm recording, but ow. All right, guys, I'll see you in the goggles next. Let's do some FPV with it. Let's jump into some FPV. This is gonna be my first FPV with this guy. Recovered. All right, this camera set up right about there. You guys see those little lights um, right along the fence? Uh, fence. I'm gonna <laughs> planning to make a little night track here in my yard for uh, little little quads like this in the future. So, anyways, see you guys in the goggles. Let's get this guy flying. See how it does FPV. All right, here we go. Mm. You turn me on. System on. Ready to fly. <laughs> Whew. Feeling really good so far guys, so far, the first time, and I feel right away how nimble it is, 
really like this style of frame. As you can see, I'm sitting in a different spot. So I want to face my patch back here. Yeah. Better signal. Oh, a little too late with the throttle there. Mm, you turn me on. See if we can get it dirty. Mm, you turn me on. System on. Ready to fly. All right. Yeah, I'm getting some diagonal lines floating up the screen. I don't know if you guys can see that. Might need to get a cap on here. But let's just cruise around. See what the backyard looks like. What? Ooh, ooh. Whoa, mangoes, mangoes. Tree. All right. There's some new obstacles back there. Mangoes are coming in, guys. Wow. Feels nice. Nice. I put, uh, this is basically stock pids. I'm really happy. Whoa, mango. With the stock pids so far i did not touch the pids from factory i i did update to i think it's 332 right now on beta flight i just threw my rates in turned off all the filters wow she's flying really nice what are you kidding me Try a power loop. Woohoo! Got up there quick. I thought this was like, wait a minute. The line of sight, see, you can never really tell line of sight. You gotta fly it. FPV. And there's plenty of power for me. I mean, the 4S in here just might be overkill. I don't know if you guys know, but these Gem Fan Flash, they are designed to be fast in flight. That's why they never use them for thrust test, but this frame is feeling really silky. Hoping the battery dies soon, guys, because I'm getting chewed by mosquitoes. Oh, wow. Plenty of power, guys. You gotta watch these trees. They go up pretty high. Very agile, very agile. First FPV with this guy, so, you know... This is zero practice with this frame. I am getting a little more experience, but still, a brand new frame, you know, brand new build. And I am really finding it easy to control, considering easier than most of my other new builds. Just drop it in here somewhere. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I'm like flying confident like I've flown this before but this is crazy it's just flying really good this is when I get in trouble because I never pay attention to my uh, battery that's why Amber giggled right there on my radio let's see if I can ooh, ooh, go slow not end up in the pool oh yeah this is pretty cool guys definitely better signal facing this way at my house getting through the back here watch out whoa those mangoes came close what see I usually be losing complete signal back here so whoa, 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 whoa. here we go just finish off this pack hello that's it guys that battery's done See what Amber says? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I can stick this landing. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. That's that going to do it for my review. My maiden flight went well. I am really happy with how she flies. I mean, I'm going to fly another pack. You guys don't get to see that, but I'm going to cruise around the yard here before the sun goes down. And um, maybe I'll throw it in the end here, but... If not, you guys, uh, check out this frame. 16 bucks for this frame, okay? You can't beat it anywhere you go. 
look around for any frames um, that perform this well and with an HD cam mount on top I'll throw a picture of that um, on the screen here but I don't know where else you can get it very nice frame two week shipping from full speed RC uh, you do pay I think somewhere around 13 15 bucks for DHL shipping but you get tracking and you get two week delivery with that versus a month or so from everywhere else in China so not bad guys frame is doing good um, the cornering was crazy I mean I like to do realistic flights guys you guys got to see um, first like oh boy flight I, I, I'm scared to do those things I I could eat anything here I crashed once luckily it was just the grass I usually end up in a cactus or in a tree somewhere but that way you guys know like first-hand experience I got no reason to show you like um, edited footage I'm not trying to be uh, the best flyer in the world this is real world and this is I just finished building this yesterday last night hovered it in my living room at like 2 a.m. and first time flying it and loving it so hey Lewis Lee thanks a lot this stack is uh, doing well I almost said kicking butt but yeah it's doing well and I, I, I know it'll have no problem with 4S alright guys uh, next up I will just do some more um, uh, try 4S in this I'll probably do some bigger park flying and uh, just really happy with it um, thanks again Full Speed RC Lewis Lee you guys rock great company and great frame again this and the leader of course are two of my favorites so far in the micro arena and um, keep on coming out with these cool designs guys I want some more full speed RC stuff and uh, thanks for providing a great price and great products and thanks to my subscribers guys thanks for watching I really appreciate it I will get more videos out soon and uh, I still have a couple of videos from my Chicago trip pretty cool spots I flew so see you guys next time thanks for joining me remember to be safe and keep on flying take care one more pack <laughs> getting dark